Um, hello guys, my name is Kit, and today in this video I'm gonna go over a web assign problem. So this is number two on the chapter 14 web assign, and I'm gonna do this whole thing. So, in hydrocarbon solution, uh, in a hydrocarbon solution, the gold compound, that, that thing decomposes into... Uh, ethane C2H6 and a different gold compound that thing the following me uh, mechanism has been proposed for the decomposition of that thing and this is the steps so first question what is the overall reaction and um, use the lowest possible coefficient omit state of matters in your answer so what I did here was I just wrote out the the entire problem um, so to calculate the overall reaction is pretty simple. You just add add up everything. So uh, if you've done Hess's law before, which everyone in Mr. Press class should have or has already done, then uh, what you do to add all of these is is you just uh, cancel any molecules from the left side that is in the right side and any, any of the leftovers will be the overall reaction so so first let's look at this um so CH3 and CH3AU so those are uh, in di different size of the equation so they get cancelled out then what else there's CH3AU um, I should probably use a pencil for this so CH3AU you know this cancels out and this cancels out because there's one here there's pH3 so that cancels out alright and then what are you left with you're left with this uh, this and this so um, just take note that this and this isn't the same because this has a 3 here or well, this one does not Okay, so the f overall reaction will be C, uh, hard to see with my, the camera in my face, A, CH3, CH3, 3, 3A, U, PH3, it's kind of hard to see, but whatever, uh, 2, C2H6 plus this thing, C2H6 plus C H three A U P H three. Alright, and this is the overall reaction. So as you can see here, that's what I have. And yeah, so that's the first part. Then the second part, um what are the intermediates in the me mechanism? separate substances in a list with a comma so for this one uh, it's pretty simple too you just look at all the ones all the molecules that you crossed out and those will be your intermediates so there's one which is CH3 uh, 3AU um, there's PH3 then there's also CH3 AU so not to be confused with this one, which is CH3 3 AU. Alright? Then you just type all of those in and that is the answer. So here it is if you want to look at it. I mean of course I could just show you the answer, but then again I just also want to show you how you uh, how I found out these answers. So C uh, wait, let me see. Um it's kinda hard. To see. What is the molecule? Molecular, molecularity molecularity of each of the uh, elementary steps so step one so let's look back at step one so step one we see that there's only one molecule on the left side so that's a unit molecular because there's only one step two let's look at this again so there's only one one molecule so it's uni, unimolecular unimolecular then step three there's two molecules, so that's bimolecular. All right, and finally, this one. What is the rate law? Oh wait, no, there's two more. What is the rate law predicted by this mechanism? Rate equations take the general form of this thing. 
All right, so um, to start to start this off, uh, as we know, the rate law derives derives from the the most slowest equation. All right, so the whatever the slowest equation is, we're we're gonna use that molecule. So um, if you read chapter sixteen, the rate law for um, the slow slow reaction would be the rate equals k because there's always the rate constant times the um, the reactants in the slowest um, reaction so uh, the reactant is ch3 3 au I, I should probably start using pen now so k actually I should just rewrite this rate equals k times ch3 parentheses that 3 au all right so um this would be the rate um equation for this whole thing but the problem is that this is an indeterminate no uh indeterminate Intermediates, yeah. So this is the uh, uh, intermediate. So this would not work. So in order to um, solve for the right equation, what we could use is we could use this top one, because this top one has um, these things, which means it's in equilibrium. So uh, these molecules could be. I mean, could react to be this at any time, and this could react to be this at any time. So what we first do is we just write out the rate equations of what these would be, since they're both the same. So for K1, and uh, this is also in chapter, uh, no, section 14.6, and is on 588. No, actually, it's, uh, it's from 586 to 588, if you want to read more about it. So, yeah. Um, so, for K1, we know that is this. So, K1 times, times CH3 AU PH3. And, uh, oh yeah, so this is the rate equation. So rate equals this, this. All right, so there's one, that's one rate equation. And since they're both equivalent, you could uh, you could also say that the rate equation is equal to k, k negative one. And uh, the negative one just means that it's going backwards, all right? So k neg negative one, and then we have um, a secondary, um, secondary reaction so it has CH3AU and PH3 so it's gonna be CH3 3AU okay and then times PH3 okay so now that we have this um, let's see all right, so now that we have the rate of this, uh, we could actually solve for this molecule. Because in this equation, there's also this, right? So since we have this, we just solve for it, and we could substitute this into this. So to do that, um, if you do math, this sh should be pretty easy. This, Just imagine this as the y, and try to isolate it. So first you divide page 3 over and you also divide the k minus 1 over so if you divide that it's going to be k minus 1 times ph 3 then you also divide the same thing on the other side so it's k minus 1 times ph 3 all right, so what does this do? This cancels this out. This cancels out. And you're left with 
6, 3, 3 AU equals this. So now you can substitute this into this. And these um these molecules aren't aren't uh intermediate. So these will work for the rate equation. And um also since the K and the K um K negative one are both the same because um they're they're still the same rate constant, it's just that this one is going backwards. So you could just cross these off as well. Alright, so uh, Finally, when you substitute the sin, you get rate k equals. So if you substitute this into this, you get CH3 3AU pH3 divided by pH3. All right, so this would be the rate equation. Yeah, uh, oh my goodness. And that's how you find it. So here, put it in, and that's what I got. So yeah, that's the correct answer. And then finally for F. So. What would be the effect on the reaction rate of adding page 3 to the solution of CH33 AU page 3? For this one, um, to be honest, I didn't really know. Like, I don't really know why this is the answer. I, I literally tried all of these. So, yeah, I just went from 1, 2, 3 until I found the right answer. And this is it. Um, the addition of page 3 would decrease the rate of reaction. Don't really know why, but let's let's just look at this equation. So if we add page three, if we add page three, what happens? Um, page three, page three is used in this as well. Huh. We add page three. It slows down the reaction. Hmm. Okay, this is this is my guess. So when you add pH three, since there's more um, more concentration of this, it actually dis disrupts the concentration of the CH three and three AU. Because as you can see here, like this has to collide with itself in order to um, in order to form this, right? But if there's a lot of pH three blocking um, of the CH three three AU. Then it slows down the equa um, the reaction. So let's draw diagrams like this. So imagine. All right. So imagine this is. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. So imagine that these circle thingies are. Ch. 3 3 AU I mean you could literally stop this video at this point because I'm just going off of what I think then let's say this is this is the pH 3 pH 3 okay so let's say that you only had one pH 3 in the solution well if you had one it would be pretty easy for all of these molecules to just collide with one another right so yeah, because this won't really have much effect on the collision of the CH33AU molecules. But then, once you add more, let's see what happens. So if you add more um, of the pH3 molecules, then what it does is it actually blocks this path. It blocks these molecules from reacting to each other. So overall, it's going to take um, a slower amount of time. So this one, this one reacting with this is gonna uh, get blocked off by the pH three molecule, and it's gonna bounce that way. This one is going to bounce from this molecule, and because of this, this will slow down the reaction, and that's what that's my hypothesis on why um, adding pH three slows down the. 
the reaction rate. Alright, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye-bye.